Of all the horrid dangers of the old world, few are more terrible than the plate-clad warriors of chaos. Their hellforged weaponry and unequaled combat prowess make them a match for even the most skilled elven swordmasters or ferocious black orcs, but their true strength comes not from within, but from without. The Chaos Gods, four dark brothers representing the emotions and dreams of sentient races, bestow small aspects of their power to these northern warriors as tokens of their favor. It is these unholy gifts that let the hordes of chaos march south in the catastrophe known as the End Times. Little is known about the regiment of chaos warriors known as the Severed Claws. Their first recorded appearance was during the End Times at the Siege of the Averberg, serving in the Legion of Flame, personal army of Village the Curseling. Considering the Curseling's preference for enslaving his warriors, it is unclear how much free will the Severed Claws truly possess. Many of the Chaos Warriors under Village's banner are completely bound to his will, but a few still have agency, and one unit, the Sons of Stormdark, actively plot against him in the service of others. Regardless of how much agency the Severed Claws truly possess, their vicious combat prowess cannot be denied. It was in the ruins of Bolgen, a small Averheim town that was used as an artillery platform for Village's Hell Cannons, that the Severed Claws fought their most famous battle. Karl Franz and an elite strike force used celestial teleportation magic to sally forth in an attempt to destroy the unholy war machines assaulting the Averberg's walls. While the chaotic forces were initially caught unaware by the attack, they quickly gathered their senses and moved to defend the unholy war machines. They fought with a fury seen only in the servants of the Dark Brothers and savaged the forces of order, but it was not enough. The Hell Cannons were brought low by the combined efforts of knights and pistoliers, and while the Empire took heavy losses, many managed to retreat through the magical portal following the completion of their mission. Village the Cursling disappeared in the same battle, trapped in the realm of chaos and turned into a mindless husk by Zinch and his host brother Tommen. With their Warmaster's disappearance, the Warriors of Chaos fell into shambles, the severed claws amongst them. While the Legion of Archaea and the Everchosen soon swept up the remnants of Village's army, the Severed Claws are not mentioned again. It is possible that they were completely destroyed alongside the Hell Cannons they were tasked with defending, or were slain by their treacherous Skaven allies between the disappearance of the Cursling and the arrival of the Everchosen. If they survived, perhaps the Severed Claws joined Archaean's army as one of his many legions of Chaos Warriors. Their ultimate fate remains unknown. While they were merely Chaos Warriors in Warhammer Fantasy, the Severed Claws have received a massive upgrade in Total War Warhammer. Released in the Champions of Chaos DLC, they are the aspiring champion regiment of renown in the Warriors of Chaos and Zinch rosters, and cost 1500 gold in multiplayer, almost identical to the cost of a normal rank 9 aspiring champion. There are several key differences between the Severed Claws and their standard brethren, however. First and foremost, the Severed Claws use halberds rather than the sword and shield weaponry of normal aspiring champions. This leaves the Severed Claws vulnerable to ranged attacks as they lack a missile block chance, but in turn they gain a gigantic bonus for as large of 30, have a tribe reflection ability, and deal more armor piercing damage than their non-regiment of renowned counterparts. As the Severed Claws possess the mark of Zinch, they also have the barrier special ability. These bonuses come at a heavy price, however. Compared to the normal rank 9 aspiring champion, the Severed Claws have less hit points, 10 less melee attack, 4 less melee defense, 6 less weapon damage, and 10 less charge bonus. With this in mind, if you're considering taking the Severed Claws, think carefully about what role you want an aspiring champion unit to have in your army. If you're fighting light infantry or plenty of small arms fire, normal aspiring champions are probably the better choice. If facing heavy cavalry or monsters, however, the Severed Claws have their place in your army. And with that, we have completed our fourth Regiment of Renown video, this time over the Severed Claws. Thank you to everyone listening to these videos. Uh, it's always a treat talking about Warhammer lore with you guys. If anyone has any special requests for a Regiment of Renown video or some other lore video down the line, don't be afraid to drop it in the comments. I can't guarantee that it will be done, as I'm limited by the books I have at my disposal, but I'll certainly try my best. Until next time, this is Sigmar's Chosen, signing off for now.